Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is Pretty Peachy speaking and today we're gonna check out this new game. Well, it's as usual, new to me, not new to everybody else. Anyway, it's called Cafe Space Angel and this is a visual novel so it's gonna be very interesting. Let's dig in. Erica. Hey, Torokun, over here! She immediately waved her hand as she saw me from afar. I frowned and increased my pace, pulling on a bucket hat. Why are you yelling like that? Ooh, graphs, and stars, and sky. Erica was sitting on the grass with her hair blowing in the cool summer breeze. Me. Why did you drag me out here? Look at the stars. Take a seat. Shivering in the wind, I put my hands deep into my sweat short po pockets. Me. Did you call me to look at the stars? Is this a date? Erica. Toro Kun, my sweet summer child, I called you to say goodbye. We'll go on a date when you grow up. She winked, causing my ears to turn red and my heart to raise. I was just joking about the date. Why did she say that? I said, Hey, it's not like I'll be gone forever. Sit down already, she said. I didn't grumble or argue. Just sat down next to her. Because I'm a good boy, that's what's happening. <laughs> so, from the information I'm gathering, uh, it turns out I'm a boy, a little boy, called Toru Kun. And this Erika person appears to be older than me. I have a feeling that's the case. Anyway, a lot has changed over the past year. Erika started junior high. Okay, yeah. And after her sister died, she moved in with her grandmother, and we stopped seeing each other at all. Oh no, her sister died. Oh please tell me I'm not involved in any of that. She decided to leave the cat in her parents' house. Okay, so there's a, uh, there's a death involved, and there's a cat involved, and there's uh, some... Okay. So possible romance. Okay, let's see. Sometimes I can see him through the window, but Erica gone from that place. I didn't feel right playing with him. And what's more, she has suddenly grown up. Oh, you mean like she hit puberty or... <laughs> and I can't reach her anymore. Did she grow taller than you? Like super tall so you can't reach her? What do you mean? She said... It's been a long time since we've admired the stars together. I doubled up my legs, muttering something in agreement. Stealthily looking at Erica. She didn't take her eyes off the sky, as if she was trying to find something there. She said, Did you know what, that stars are human souls? Me. No, that's total crap. She said, you can't say that for sure. Actually, I can. <laughs> I'm so sassy. <laughs> I'm so mean. I guess that's how you talk when you're a little boy. I've never been a little boy. So, yeah, gotta calm down. Erica interrupted me before I could finish. She would have never done that before. Erica. My grandmother told me that when a person dies, the soul leaves the earth and remains shining in the sky as a star. Her voice went very quiet, but the corners of her mouth stretched out in a smile. I wonder, when I die, will my star shine as bright? Oh, ooh, that's... why would you say that? That's so heavy. Stay happy, Erica. That's enough. 
I reflexively flew off the handle, but then stopped. After her older sister died, I wanted to be careful about what I said. I thought that all the grief built up in her heart was about to burst, but she hasn't cried since that time. Oh, she must be responding with, in, in shock. She must still be in shock. I'm just gonna sip on my sweet cup of tea. I advise you to get something nice to drink as well, because it makes everything so much better. Let's continue. Erica didn't react. Her body was still, but it shivered slightly. There was a depressing silence in the cool summer air that made it hard to breathe. What should I do to get things back on track? Oh, I feel like I have so much responsibility to make this Erica person girl happy. I'm just a little boy. Get off my back. I saw your mother recently, I said. She already has such a big belly. Okay, so Erica's mom is prego. Alright. She said it's a boy. Yep. I'm happy. Oh, you looked happy, you cute little person. Erica closed her eyes and smiled. She seemed really happy, even though she never said she missed her parents. Will Erica come back home if her mother needs help? I guess we'll never know. It got me thinking. When did things hit a rough path? After Erica's family starting expecting a child? Or was it earlier than that? The idea of having another child ran through my dad's head. What? My dad's head? Are we sim- What? Okay. I'm, I have to learn to be patient. I'm just gonna be patient. And this is exactly what casted a shadow on the relationship of my parents even more. If my mom had just agreed with him. But she never did. And they didn't make peace as they used to. I had nowhere else to go to avoid seeing it. When I asked for stability, I meant it to be good, not bad. I had it coming. Todoko? Hey, should I bring you a Kit Kat? Ah, but I thought it's our last. Have you given up collecting them? How much has everything changed? It seems as if she's getting further away from me more and more. Erica shook her head as if trying to be herself again. And then she said, No! I'm going to eat them all. Bring me some that I don't have. You have such a good memory. What's the point of your collection if you don't even remember what you have? I don't have that much money. Well, okay, I'm a little boy. Where would I get my money from? I mean, I can't work. You're a good boy. I know I am. Toroka, I'll bite a greedy one. What? Who are you calling? Who are you calling greedy, lady? Forgive me, Toroka. Huh? What are you apologizing for? Being pretty? You've been so lonely lately. Yeah, it's because you never want to hang out with me. Nobody wants to hang out with me, that's why. Um, recently, Kenta and I found an anthill. My mom also promised to buy me a video game console if my grades are good. <laughs> that's so cute. I'm, I'm like defending my loneliness with like, yeah, I'm gonna get video games. <laughs> Aww. It's so sad. It's so sad. It had nothing to do with what she said, even though I tried to show that my life was interesting and eventful, even without her. I'm such a tryhard. I'm such a little tryhard. I'm sorry. I hope you find a lot of friends. None of them matter, Erica. All I want is you. <laughs> me. Among the ants? Haha. <laughs> I can't even call Kenta my friend. He's stupid. I mean, seriously, beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> Pickers or however you say it. It's... 
I should be happy that I have someone at least. Not me, I, as an I, me. I mean, as a Torokun. Anyway, she tousled my hair and my hat fell back. Me, hey, stop it! Come on, give me a hug! Whoa! <gasps> Ooh! What's going on here? It's nice. I'm getting some mushy, soft, nice hugs. <laughs> Play well with others in Tokyo. I want to be here with you. I want to be proud of you. Mm. So, so pretty. Everything is so pretty. <sighs> ah. And then I said, Hey, what are you doing? Hmm. So soft. <laughs> Oh, that looks so cozy. Second of July, two thousand twenty, in Tokyo. Oh, a room so pretty! Oh, wow, wow, clothes! Oh, wow, girl, what I wonder what's in those. Oh, exercise! Oh, oh, okay. Oh, manga! Oh, wow. Okay, my head is splitting. I close my eyes tight. A thin streak of light shone through the gap between the curtains and right into my eyes. I buried my face in the pillow, trying to hide from the harsh reality. <gasps> oh, it's so pretty! What time is it now? My ears were ringing, which kept me from hearing my phone vibrating on the table. Well, you better get that freaking phone because it's getting annoying. Still closing my eyes because of the light, I reached out to turn off the alarm and hit the edge of the bed with my elbow. Yikes. I don't like that. I don't like hitting myself on the edges with elbows. Anyway. Damn you! My hands were unresponsive and my head was empty. I tried to turn off the alarm clock by clumsily clicking on everything that just appeared on the screen. Oh, such a relief. Who's calling me? Rin Takada. Rin Takada. Rin Takada. I don't know how to pronounce his name correctly, forgive me. Anyway, I'm doing my best. Oh, he answered. Hey, Toru. Huh? What? The alarm clock spoke in the voice of Takada Rin? My friend from university? Takada. What the hell? Is everything alright with you? Is everything alright with me? Hmm. I blinked and checked the time. It's worry o'clock. <laughs> I think I fell asleep right after I got home from university. And it's not morning, it's evening. My stomach growled and I writhed, writhed with a sl slight pain. I haven't eaten since morning. Bad me. That's how you get migraines. That's bad. Bad me. I've been a bad, bad, bad boy. Takada. We've already started without you. Oh man! What a friend! Well, once you've started, go on. I tell you what, I, that's not what I would have said if this would have been me for real. I'll make myself some noodles and finally get some rest. Takada. Hey! Don't hang up! I was just kidding. It was a joke. Damn. He has such an evil voice. Want to hear it? Who are you talking to? I'm not a tourist attraction. Me. Hey, I can hear you, too. I pushed in on my temples with my free hand and mentally cursed all those who were able to enjoy themselves after exams. <laughs> That's so evil. Takada. Alright. Mm. Get dressed and prepare yourself. The rest are late anyway, so don't worry. We're waiting for you. I wasn't worried at all. I I kind of seem to be worried though, but okay. I hung up, unable to defend my desire to stay at home, and closed my eyes. I have to go. After all, I promised myself not to be black sheep anymore. I stretched like a cat and yawned, but first 
I'll take a five minute nap. Who would have thought that living a full life would be this tiresome? Yeah, I feel you. Oh, <gasps> so pretty! A karaoke room! <gasps> Aww, I really want to go visit Japan. Is it a room like this? <sighs> Me, I'm coming in. The room was suspiciously, qu suspiciously quiet, except for the background music, which is rather ra loud in my ears right now. Air conditioner, karaoke machine, screen, you hang your stuff. This is apparently... Uh, it says if it's occupied or not. Fire alarm thingy. And the same girl! Oh, okay, she seems to be popular. Me. Am I too early? Or too late? Empty and crumbled beer cans were scattered on the table. My friends were sitting alone. Looks like the party was a failure. <sighs> Kim, Kimichi, Ken. She won't come. She? Who are you talking about, Ken? Barbie? You waiting for Barbie? I looked at Takara, but he just rolled his eyes. Ken, Miyuki. She has such lovely curls. Rin. I had no idea you liked curls. He smiled and sardonic sardonically, <laughs> sardonically, not hiding his annoyance. Ken. She has something special. Ooh. Don't you say that about everyone? <laughs> Is he a playboy? <laughs> okay. I sat down on the opposite side. Taking off the hat, a cool breeze from the air conditioner blew across my slightly sweaty forehead and I let out a sigh of relief. Ah, oh, this looks so cozy. I want to just grab a couple of friends and just get some stuff, some nice stuff to drink and just sing like nobody's listening. Ken, shut up. What do you know about love? Kid. <laughs> why did I come at all? I don't know. I don't know me. I don't know why we came. Judging by Ken... Cane cheese, slanted eyes, most of the beer cans belong to him. <laughs> Aww, see ya, little alcoholic. And I got to the stage where he blames everyone for his failures. Yeah, typical him. You're such a drama queen. You've only met recently. Takara let out a weary sigh and handed me a can of beer. Carefully opening it for me. <gasps> That's so nice. He's such a nice friend. Thank you. Arigato gozaimasu. From sleeping to drinking. Senpai, you're corrupting me. I hesitated but took a sip. Kinchi ken. You won't get it. It was like the song of Rooney Rooney. Who the hell is Rooney Rooney? Well, duh. Can't I just read on the screen and on the uh, poster? Oh. How long did I sleep? I looked around the room and a poster caught my eye. <laughs> how, how did you not see that one? <laughs> I was like, the door is in here and is it over here and you just enter through the door. That's the first thing you see. It's a very smart placement, by the way. <laughs> it's clear now. Another idol. Perhaps I am behind the trends again. As usual. Meanwhile, Kenchi was trying to hum a song, apparently remembering that he was at karaoke, not a bar. <laughs> I hope there was no cameras here and no one sees that he's shame. Though you never know what people do in karaoke rooms. Whoa! What do people do in karaoke rooms except for sing and have a good time? Kenchi can. And we were always on the phone, even not saying one word. Oh, that's so cozy. You know, she loved ice cream at Ruskin Bobbins. That's a super weird name for an ice cream place. Every time I asked her to show me her food, she sent me ice cream. <laughs> oh, that sounds like me. Vanilla with chocolate syrup. It sounds like she sent the same photo to get rid of you. 
And why did you make her report to you? Is this some kind of flirting? This is creepy, don't do that. It was as sweet as... I gotta give Ken a poke in the, in the ribs. Let's get the details. Count me out. I did my best for you. Ungrateful fools. Ah, oh, can't someone just tell me what's going on here? I'm so <laughs> confused. <laughs> okay. Just gonna learn to be patient. For us? I asked her to bring her friends. Oh. <gasps> That's so smart. So kind of him. And here we are poking it. Poor Ken. Bring, he just wanted to bring Barbie and Stacy and and everybody else, a skipper and whoever Barbie hangs out with. Anyway, so you wouldn't feel lonely. I don't feel. <laughs> oh, this guy is badass. I don't feel. Neither do I. Okay, so I'm apparently a badass as well. We looked at each other and finished our beer. So, this was an attempt to arrange a group date. That smug bastard. Well, I'm glad that didn't happen. Ken, why are you making an alcoholic out of him, Rin? He can't drink yet. What? Why can't I... Who, who are you to judge, Mr... Mr... Whoever you were, I forgot your name. It gave me the creeps. Come on. Say it louder. It's you, Takara says. It's you who should stop. Dambi Pambi. Takara grimaced. Gra gra grimaced? Well, ma he made a funny face in disgust and straightened his wild hair. That's a, he, I really like his hairstyle. It's such a cute boy hairstyle. My grand. Oh, and girl hairstyle, of course. And any other gender hair style. I just really like this on boys. Anyway, my grandmother was right. I should have listened. Grandmother? What? There's a curse on my family. These curses again. Nonsense. Stop being haughty. Yes, is she? I know you grew up in the country too. <gasps> Am I a country boy? <gasps> nice. How come you don't believe in curses? Believe it or not, Kunuha is not a village. Who am I kidding? Ver veritable village. Hens are walking down the street. <gasps> oh, I want to visit a place like that now. Kin Kinchi looked at me in surprise. Is there any Baskin Bobbins? What kind of interest is that? Are you going there on vacation with your fake girlfriend? I I haven't been there in a long time. I scratched my head. The only cafe that seems to fit the description was the cafe of Erica's aunt. Say no more. Are you disappointed? Don't look at me like I'm interfering with your love life. Hence, a village. <laughs> okay, so if a place doesn't have that stupid cafe, it's a village. I don't have that stupid cafe. Do I live in a village too? Huh? What is this logic nonsense? And you too? Takara smiled, apparently enjoying his pointless ang. Argy bargy. Everything is a village compared to Tokyo. Kenichi burst into tears again, snorting like a child. Will you give it a rest? No wonder girls give you the elbow. What does that mean? To give him the elbow. You're just unlucky. Man, stop crying already. <gasps> Why? Let him let him express himself. I waved him away and dug into my back to get some single-use wipes. <laughs> Why would I have single-use wipes <laughs> in my back? Okay. <laughs> this is getting very suspicious. <laughs> Bad luck is a curse as well. No, it's really a chance. One day I'll tell you that you're just an idiot. I'm just gonna take a small break here and drink some tea. But not today. Perhaps this summer we... We, three country friends in Tokyo, will definitely find girlfriends. <gasps> 
<gasps> I like this plan. I graduated in Tokyo. And I'm not, I, I don't even have an accent. He will go without wipes. Drunk jerk. <laughs> what is this wipe? Wipe talk? What? What kind of cheap friend comedy bit is that? I demonstrate demonstratively put the bag away. Kinchi. Let's go to the beach. Or better yet, an onsen. Oh, fireworks. Rin, we can't go to Tanabata together. We need girls. What makes you think that I'm going to go to Tanabata with you? I'm so mean. I don't like the... I don't like the whole energy in this room right now. I think I'm the reason <laughs> for the bad energy. <laughs> the point is asking for love, isn't it? It's not Valentine's Day after all. Never mind. He got wrecked. I'm tired. Takara took the remote control and began mindlessly switching songs. He didn't seem to be in a good mood either, but he didn't show it, hiding his emotions behind a polite smile like a mask. Oh, he got his poker face on. He's different today. Did you take the day off? I can't take him to the dorm if you need... I can take him to the dorm if you need to go to work. <laughs> I'll throw him in the nearest stinking dumpster. <laughs> oh, such an asshole. When is the day when the idiots are taken out? <sighs> if it hadn't been for Takada, I would never have contacted Ken. Yep, a long term one. What do you mean? I quit my job. Oh, okay. It seems like you're not so sad about it though. Okay, woohoo! I don't have an income anymore! I'm so happy! I looked at him in surprise and then looked away embarrassed. Anyhow, it's not nice to stare at people. Except if they're super attractive, then it's okay. You just stare away. <laughs> I'm joking, don't do that. Don't stare, it's not nice. You've been working for about five years. Oh, this is a hard working little boy right there. Or man. Yep. Same shit, different day. And free samplers of cosmetics that we give out to customers as a bonus. He made a dis disdainful face as if he felt nauseated. But your skin is perfect! I came up with a phrase from a commercial I heard on TV this morning at breakfast. Thanks. Takara played along, though I'm not sure the commercial said the same. I would never have believed you were so old. <laughs> what is this rudeness? You, ne you better stop. Haha. <laughs> I smiled, but the strange feeling didn't leave me. You better stop. I smiled, but the strange... Oh, I, I accidentally... Even the most patient people sometimes give up everything. Hey, don't you want to take a part-time job there? You can work, as well as study. So you decided to find a replacement? No way. No thanks. Why not? Pay's good. Especially since you live with your mother, don't you? I don't really need the money. I'm not an otaku or a lady killer. Especially not a cosmetic distributor. But you can be. Takara snorted, obviously expecting his, this reaction from me. Why did you ask if you knew I could refuse? And after your complaints, it doesn't sound very appealing. You won't get a girlfriend being as poor as a church mouse. Oh, you shut up, Ken. You just shut your Ken mouth. Sleepy Kinchi jumped in the conversation. I, mean, I hate to break it to you, but all those bimbos flirting with you to get into the dorm were just using you. Aw, for him. But I already have a girlfriend. I gave a smug chuckle and broke into a grin. No one lies better than me. Takada. Hmm. Is he asleep? <laughs> Takara smiled and waved his hand. Shh, or you wake him up. No one needs it now. I leaned back on the sofa and sighed. Well, why did we invite this stupid person if we don't want to hang out with him? We're just waiting for him to sleep. 
And don't joke so much with him. He's naive. I should know better. For months, he could not accept that you passed the entrance exam at the first try. And now, a girlfriend? Given his condition, a fight cannot be avoided. <laughs> oh, okay, so I have to be humble? I'm not good at that. I'll do my best though. Did he see right through me? I always knew Takara was a much darker horse than me. What? Don't you have a girlfriend? I snapped at him to, char to change the subject and fell into thinking. Is it only me who's not interested in all this love crap? Oh, I come with great news for you, Torokun. <laughs> um, I have diagnosed you with... Gay. Anyway, we never talked with him about this. Although, I saw several times how he smiles chatting with someone. Probably someone from work. After all, he works for the female staff. And if he quit, it means Takada, for some reason, took thought and did not answer the question. So, no? Or not anymore? Women. Oh, what's going on? <laughs> Calm down. Can be terrifying and creepy. Oh, okay. I see. Okay. <laughs> what an unexpected change of mood. Takara senpai, what do you mean? So he's drunk as hell too. Ha. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, if you are you trying to tell me that you're not interested in women and that you're interested in me? Just tell me already. Like, what do you think gonna happen? I'm not some dragon that's gonna bite your head off. I mean, you can't know that. I'm not for sure, unless you try. Anyway, how can one forget that? Girls can be annoying. Arrogant. Stupid. Hey, hold your horses. But to be creepy? But keep an eye out. You never know when you'll run into a stalker. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, man. That's what stalkers say. <laughs> that's exactly what a stalker would say. It seems that he has some kind of emotional scars. You started remembering your first sex without me? What? What the fuck? <laughs> Who woke this, this guy up? I think the dream and reality got mixed up in his drunken brain. My first sex. He opened his mouth, wiping his drool from the back of his hands, <laughs> and started to say something, but stopped. He's asleep on the feet. Nobody cares about your first time, Ken Chan. Like a naughty big dog, he howled mournfully. Then, Toru. His eyes lit up again. What, me? Tell us about your first time. Let's change the subject. We were... I want to know. Am I your fiancé or what? Why does this... Can't this guy just get off my back? Oh, I should just throw him in the dumpster like I said I would. Anyway... Why are you bothering him? He just finished high school. He doesn't have to... Does Takara know? I'm a virgin? They say you slept with a teacher. That's why you're so smart. <laughs> this guy is so... Okay, he's so rude. Like, why would you... Nobody expect you to talk that kind of nonsense. Yeah, tell him, Rin. Tell him. Coughed and they fell silent. I don't know how you found out about that. <laughs> I'm such a smug bastard. I smiled eni enigmatically. Is it true? Was she young or milf? Married? He's really naive. Of course not. This is not true. So it turns out you're a virgin. Kenji looked at me with disappointment with a disappointed expression and for some reason I felt very ashamed whatever gave you that idea <laughs> do you think I can only sleep with a teacher <laughs> what is this weird <laughs> weirdness going on here this is savage little boy I am are you insane I thought since you're so smart 
then... So, was it you who came up with this nonsense? <laughs> I'm not gonna read that. <laughs> In junior high? You amaze me! So, you're a real genius! Did you even pass the entrance exam? He looked at me admiringly, apparently waiting for the recipe of for success. <laughs> well, at least he didn't start a fight. It's always one of two options. Takada thing. Don't die first, genius. Takada opened another can of beer and grinned, mocking Ken. <laughs> it was a little creepy. Did he also hide his envy that I passed on the first try? Anyway, I sighed and prepared to tell my story. The story that helped me get out of the bottom in high school. The story I've told many times and learned by heart so they wouldn't see me through. She was my childhood friend. Ah, oh, I'm glad this stupid music is finished. It was already late and the sun had set, passing the bottom to the night to the night lights of the city. <gasps> so pretty! Wow! Not, now that I look at it, it's just a creepy aisle. Or like a... Okay. It was already late and the sun had set, passing the baton to the night lights of the city. Tokyo lived day and night. <gasps> I wanna visit Tokyo. So bad. After the gathering, my head was still buzzing and the bright neon light made me feel sick. So I almost immediately turned into a side street away from this fuzz. Ah, sorry. <laughs> Since I record my videos without editing them, I kind of have like super real emotions and, <laughs> and reactions and stuff. So I yawn sometimes and I drink tea sometimes. And that's just how my videos are. I hope you like it. Tea's nice. Tea's very nice. Oh, is that a is that a naughty naughty people club thingy? Takada and Kenji took a taxi back to the dorm, barely able to stand. Compared to them, I hadn't drank that much, and I couldn't afford to take a taxi. Not a single call from her. Quite strange. Despite the late hour, my mother didn't miss me. Oh. If she had been late at work, she would have written. After counting the money in my wallet, I decided to walk. She probably is very angry. I didn't tell her I was going to karaoke. Takada hinted that it was time for me to look for a job, but I had no idea where I could get one because studying takes up almost all of my time. Yeah, it's a real struggle, man. I feel ya. <laughs> I yawned and stretched. And how did he juggle? No wonder he couldn't stand it. He, hmm. Welcome. I pictured myself in uniform, greeting customers at the store, and I shuddered. Brrr. It's definitely not for me. I took out my phone and entered my address so that the navigator could show me walking route. Well, I used to come home from school on the lonely only road in the village. And why does it get harder as you get older? I yawned again and my clogged ears finally eased. It's going that it's good that tomorrow is a day off. I chose the route in order to have time to blow away the c cobwebs. What a place I found. They'd rather find corpses here. Oh, <gasps> that's creepy. I hope I don't find any corpses. I don't think this is a horror game. I really hope it's not. Or die themselves. <laughs> My mind was traveling over manga about the undead and all over all other rubbish when I saw something so white that it seems to glow in the dark. My heart skipped a beat, and I dis instinctively leaned back, but after a couple of seconds, I got a good look at it. A cat! I breathed a sigh of relief. 
And what are you doing here, so white and homely, among the dumpsters? I can't be helped. I love cats. She looked at me icily and began to lick her paw. Just like Erica's cat. I automatically switched my phone to the camera and tried to stay as still as possible. Guys, can you be quiet? There's people in the game talking. Can they be quiet? To stay as still as possible in order not to scare the cat away. Memories of childhood slipped through my mind, and for some reason, I felt sad. I wonder if she's already dead. Oh no, why would I think that? The little kitty. I wonder if she's already dead. It's been years. One, two, what? Oh no, damn it. Flash. Oh, I frightened the cat away. How could I be so foolish? Photo of a dumpster. Great. I grinned at my luck and was about to delete the bat shot, but my finger slipped and opened the gallery. Sleeping drunk Kenchi, smiling Takada, mom's birthday. Oh, here I try to grow a mustache. <laughs> ah, cringe. I grimaced, but didn't delete anything, quickly putting the phone in my pocket. Maybe photography is also not for me. I wanted to have a hobby, but in the end, I got some kind of disordered chronicle of life. If I get killed in this dark alley, I hope no one hacks my phone. <laughs> I raised my head up. Did my life get better as everyone wanted it to? Even you. Oh, <gasps> that's so pretty. McDonald's. Wow. Oh, I wish I could go to Tokyo. It's so pretty here. I came to a nosy, crowded intersection. I had lived in Tokyo for a long time. Oh, I envy you so much. But I didn't know it at all, relying entirely on the map in my smartphone. Now, left? I stared around like a tourist, puzzled by the thousands of signs that confused me. The smell of fried noodles from a diner immediately blasted my nose. A little further on, it mingled with the smell of freshly brewed star, star ducks. <laughs> star ducks coffee and some greasy feminine perfume. <gasps> That's so so nice, all of this, especially the noodles. Loud laughter, drunken office workers and punks in rough boots on high platforms, as if on stilts. All this is something I have nothing to do with, and don't want to. Oh, I don't understand this person. The light was red, and I looked up, trying to get some privacy in this smoothly crowd. Skyscrapers stretched high into the sky, and behind the light of neon signs advertising, there was no stars at all. False lights of the night sky, night city. I was sure I had read this book somewhere, but I couldn't remember which one. This was strange, because I usually remembered all the authors in all the books I have ever read. Did I come up with such a path pathetic phrase myself? Perhaps I could be a good writer. Why did I bother with my economics entrance exams? <laughs> uh, the light turned green and I went to the other side of the street, driven by the crowd. I'll never get too used to this city. I took out my phone again and opened the map. I think I'm on the wrong side. Going to have to go around. And it seems to be a normal situation, but the stress of recent weeks has made itself felt, and my mood was faded sharply. It's almost twi twelve. I could, I could easily have taken the subway. I gave a while and crouched down to the McDonald's entrance. And why doesn't she text me? Should I bring something home? I got up and decided to look through the window to see if there was a long queue at the checkout. As I looked around at the customers, my eyes caught the familiar ponytail. Hmm. Whoa. Just like my mom. Does anyone else still do that? So old-fashioned and childish. 
the young woman was dressed in expensive corporate suit and looked out of place among teenagers in gaudy shabby clothes. She was laughing loudly and jokingly gesturing her companion in some idiotic check trousers. The odd couple. They picked up their food trays and turned to face the exit in search of an empty table. They argued for a long time where they could should sit and almost began to swear at each other. Oh. <laughs> okay. Is it like the same girl everywhere? Oh! This is the girl from the karaoke! Are you kidding me? I stood there for a while staring straight at my parents. But they didn't see me. When I love a woman, everything else in the world is forgotten. Poisson, I guess. What did I know about love? Maybe it's okay to love and hate, to break up and get together. Not to give a damn on those who are hurt to look at it. Maybe I'm too hard on them because I've never loved. But I did. My thoughts were mixed up with the noise of Tokyo. I turned abruptly and walked back and pulled my bucket hat down low over my eyes. Standing at the traffic light sign, light again, I noticed several couples. Young people in school uniforms were holding hands and typing hard on their phones. Shouldn't they be home? Why go for a walk together if you're still looking at the screens? A tall, curly-haired guy was saying something to his girlfriend in strange English, and she was laughing indecently, loud in response periodically adjusting her bra. <laughs> oh, well, I'm such a creep. Why am I looking at her other people's bras? What's wrong with them? Elderly couple, couple with children, a 40-year-old employee and his young mistress with vulgar makeup. My gaze went over every person at this intersection and it seemed like only I was on. What? All day I was alone here. My ears were clogged again. A lump rose in my throat. What am I talking about? There's a lone per person. There's a lone person. The smell of fried squid turned into a sickening stench, mingling with summer heat, coffee, and women's perfume. Without even apologizing, I pushed my way roughly through the people. I was in a hurry to get out of here. I felt misplaced again. <gasps> oh, am I home? What happened? What's going on? I don't remember where or how long I wandered thoughtlessly around in the city, but I came home later than my mom. She was sitting at the kitchen table and apparently tried to call me, but I didn't answer. <gasps> my room again. I muttered something instead of greeting and went straight to my room. I like this room. So nice and clean. Oh, I s my mom is so pretty. Well, where have you been? I called you. She crossed her arms and, le and leaned back against the doorway. I didn't look at her face, but I could tell from her voice that she was she was purse pursing pursing her lips in the library. Exams are coming. I said the first thing that came to mind without even bothering about the fact that she knew perfectly well that the exams ended today. She clicked her tongue. You smell like beer, and you're not even twenty. Why do you care? You were out with my dad in McDonald's. Why are you shaming me? Hmm? What a clumsy lie. As if I'm the only one who's not good at lying. How dare you? Do you want to be expelled from the university? You would only be happy if I studied 24 hours every day, right? She used to threaten me that I wouldn't pass the enrollment tests, and now she's threatened 
that I'll be expelled? I thought it was finally over. I'm just worried about your future. I do everything for you. Nothing changed. I'm so tired of hearing that. I can't hurt to take a break sometimes. <sighs> you sound like your father. Who? My father that you were at McDonald's with now? Ah, uh, <laughs> sneaky. And where is he now? Now you're going to tell me what a loser my father is and that I'll end up like him if I don't listen to you. I turned out to face her and crossed my arms over my chest, taking the offensive. You know better where he is now. She drew back from my, my gaze and hesitated. Huh? What do you mean? What do I mean? So, are you going to keep hiding from me and let your back together? Or are you finally going to tell me the truth? We aren't. Did he tell you that? Are you still in touch with him? I told him not to... I freaking saw you. In the cafe. And those slippers you said you bought me? There was no tag on them and they were too small for me. I'm not an idiot. She was standing there and gaping, unable to say a single word. I should have stopped, but I couldn't. Anger and resentment resulting from her lie made my blood boil and began to burst out. You forbade me to go home to my father and grandfather. You told me to forget my friends, but not yourself, right? I was fine until we moved. I had plans too. I did it for your own good. You need to completely cut yourself off from the past in order to step into the future with a cool head, right? Your grades got really bad and I... Ugh. Can you stop hi hiding behind my grades? You dreamed about leaving that place. It was you who didn't want a second child. So don't blame it on me and my so-called selfishness. There was no future for you there, don't you see? You were a child and you were happy with everything. You had fun playing with the out other outdoors, others outdoors, but how would it end? You would have graduated from high school with pain and misery, kept hands, got married. Doesn't sound so bad, does it? I grinned sarcastically, but my chest still hurt. Cut the comedy. You know you can do more than that. Your father and I do everything for you. We got divorced because you said you were tired of... I'm tired of your lies. And what's the point of that you're still together, just now behind my back? What was all this for? I was on, on your side only because you've mis misled me. If you are so opposed to the fact that me and your father are, I don't mind. I've never been opposed to it. Why don't you understand? Be happy. Just don't lie to me. Don't promise the impossible. Do you think you're the brightest bulb in the box? <laughs> Ugh, this person is so rude. An adult, right? Drinking beer with friends. Probably going to start working part-time. Living separately. I gathered brows and looked at her defi defiantly. Kicking me out? No. I just want to remind you that the world doesn't circle around you. Then I'll go home. You're home. You just kicked me out, didn't you? I... I don't care. At least I'll see how things have changed there. Nothing has changed there. So you also went there without me? Toto. Well, fantastic. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to lie to you, but you made me do it. By no means, right? Toto. Oh, that was very... That wasn't even my mom and I feel so... Oh, I feel so bad right now. God.
I'm gonna drink some tea. After the crow quarrel with my mom, I could not sleep for a long time. Maybe I finally lost my sleeping schedule, but I felt no fatigue. There was a can of beer, which we didn't finish, and I took it for myself. I stepped out in the balcony and my bare feet and breathed into the night air of Tokyo. Alright guys, um, I feel like we have to stop the game right here and we continue next episode. Uh, I really want to thank you for being here with me and watching my videos. Uh, yeah, I hope you want to come back for uh, next episode. Bye!